Okay, we are... You ready? I can be ready. Okay, cool. We are Wait. live. Wait, nope. Okay. Wait. Well, we're live, so whatever. Oh. You just talk whatever you want to say. Shit. Welcome back to Two Rights Make a Wrong. Um, that is Daniel. That is Russell. And with us, uh, we've got Lilo and Carl. And we now have a special guest with us today, my good, good friend... Aaron, we met in high school, um, so we go way back. Yes, we do. Yeah. <laughs> I did not meet her in high school. She's much younger than I am. Thank you. So, yeah. You're welcome. Hey, so what's going on? Not much. What's going on with you? Not too much. What you got for me today? Um, I'm curious. So, uh, music. Music stuff. Yeah. Music stuff. Uh, And I want to ask everyone this. Who is, like, the most talented singer that you, like, know that exists out there that you just do not enjoy? That I don't enjoy? Yeah. Like, you you full well recognize that they are super talented, very good, but you just – it's not for you. You I just mean, don't enjoy it. Th- there's too many. Oh, there, but, but just name, like, one. Someone who you just – Like won't. Adele. That's actually mine. Adele's mine. I, I mean, I'm not going to say I dislike her. I just don't like her. There's just, I don't <laughs> listen to that music. No, there's a difference right, between no. not liking somebody and disliking. I feel like many people don't get that distinction. Right, no, but uh, but it's the music. It's the music that you're not a fan yeah, of. I, mean, I think yeah, she I is care. super talented. That's actually mine. I was going to say Adele. Yeah. But probably probably too many. And then Ariana Grande. Actually, Aaron and I just talked about this last night. Wasn't it? Was that you? What we were yes. Talking? Yeah. But yeah, Ariana Grande. I think she is one of the most talented people gifted with one of the best voices in the world but she doesn't utilize it in her music yeah what about you carl probably taylor swift Ta- oh but taylor swift actually isn't talented at singing <laughs> <laughs> um well i don't know i like good singers so all right i like adele i'd listen to adele oh you do listen to adele you enjoy her music yeah sure oh, okay. she's got a beautiful voice Ooh, i have an and i think actual- you angered Lilo, when you said Ariana Grande, so yeah, you did. But the thing is, I but no. I, again, I think she's so talented. I I just I think she could do more music that really utilizes what she what her talent really is. Yeah, the big ballads. She doesn't ever do those, and I love that when she does it. Yeah, when she like covers no, other people's awesome. songs and stuff like that, I think she is just the bee's knees. I think I honestly think a better question is is who do you not understand is talented. I don't even know what question you just asked. Like, who do you, like, not get? Like, people, like, um, well, look, oh, they're the best singer. And you're like, I don't understand that. And for me, here, I'm going to bring out an example. And this is going to be a highly controversial thing. I do not get Billie Eilish. I don't see how she's that talented. Oh, no, she is. She, her, she has a great voice, too. If you actually listen okay. to the stuff that, like, her like boo doop boo doop doo doo that stuff no she's not utilizing the voice that she has either in those songs but if you listen but she can she can belt and she can sing so she does have a great voice too she just but she's kind of like the she doesn't utilize it to the to the to the caliber of what her voice actually is as far as singing chops goes yeah fair enough but she really but yeah, is. i just don't understand it that one i don't i don't get i mean you know and I don't, you're gonna tell me that you're gonna i mean you can tell me that until you're blue in the face i still won't get it right but, but that's I've, that's the that's the point of the question is everybody oh no they're super talented they're super talented no no i don't see it i don't get it okay that's that's why i brought it up All right um probably because you just don't listen to the Stuff where you can hear her voice in that. You probably haven't heard Maybe. her sing those types of things. Can you even name more than one song that she makes? I can't even name one. So then you don't. But I've heard a one. ton. I don't think you have. I think you've heard But one. I have. I think that's the thing. Is I've, heard, I've heard a lot. <laughs> I've heard a lot. No. I can't name any because I don't enjoy them. <laughs> you've heard five. You've max. heard bad guys. That's it. <laughs> well, there's the other one that sounds exactly like bad guys, but <laughs> I don't know what it's called. She has two songs that are like the exact same. Um, but the one I don't get is William Hung. I don't get that one. <laughs> William Hung, that's a throwback. <laughs> I think uh I think he is exactly what he is. <laughs> I think uh 
I don't even know I think who the he's hell as, it is. She, oh, she, he bangs. So, uh, uh, yeah, so William Hung was on American Idol in, like, the second or third season of it. And he is, was absolutely atrocious. And he's saying, yeah, the he, she bangs, she bangs, whatever. And he, like, did this dance with it. And he's absolutely terrible. And then, <laughs> so, like, they ripped on him for being terrible. And he goes, you know what? I don't really care. I love doing it. This is what I enjoy doing. So I'm going to do it to the best of my ability. And even if it's not the best... Yeah, I'm still enjoying it. Oh, good and for he, him. But he got a flipping record deal. Wow. From being on American Idol for just saying that. And then he he had albums made. Well, because he had a good attitude. He yeah, was apparently. entertaining. But, they, but, the, but the thing is, is his albums that they made, they didn't mix his voice or anything. He still sounded just as bad as he ever has on his albums. Oh, God bless him. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing yeah, his thing. Blast from the past there. Sure was. How about um, Cardi B? Don't know. Worst awful performer I, I've ever seen. I couldn't believe it. I don't know anything about Cardi B. Me neither, except for she's annoying. Oh, she I don't even know that much about her. Just the way that some of these pop artists talk and just live their lives is just, I don't get it. That's what I don't get. It's like, are you actually is this she, type of is person? Is she the okay? Okay. Is she? Okay, but like, but like, Ice Spice, like, how can you actually in like in like Nicki Minaj and whatever, how can you actually be that type of person all the time? Are you, is that actually how you see them act on camera and how you see them like talk and interact with people? Is that actually how they are in their lives? And if they are, how how do you keep that up? It's a performance. But is it a performance or is that how they are? That's, I mean, I could say that about you. What do you mean by like how? How how do you keep this up? Keep what up? You got this fucking argumentative, like, I want to argue about everything and be critical tone of voice in your, like, every step of the second. Like, how do you keep up your anger all the time? Because I'm angry all the time. Right. But how do you keep that up? It's just you. It's just you and your personality. And that's just who they are. Yeah, but, maybe sometimes but I know, but if the camera's it on, are? it's a little bit turned up, but that's probably who they are. Mm. And that's why they're famous for the most part. See, but I, but I want to know is if if before they were famous, were they actually like that, or did like, someone say you need to be over the top? No, I don't think so. I think some. I I think some of them, like for instance, like um, like the Cardi B and um, Ice Spice, and like they were that at the beginning of their career. But were they right? That before but their like career? that's they, what I'm saying. Yeah, they were like that before their career. That's how they got to be where they were, you know. And and you can trace that back to in their music as opposed to like somebody like lady gaga for instance who like when she first came on the scene she wasn't even named that she was named stephanie whatever the fuck italian last name she has okay and then all of a sudden then she and and she was she she was on stage and acted and dressed like a regular person and then lady gaga came about of things yeah and now lady gaga became lady gaga and now ca- she kind of took back a notch again. Now she's like halfway in between. Mm. It's kind of like Kesha too. Kesha didn't have any of the type of music that she did. She played like acoustic guitar and like had like actual like good vocals and played like proper songs. Mm-hmm. And then someone was just like, you're not going to get famous doing that. Do this kind of stuff. Yeah. But the only thing about Kesha is I, I've never seen. I didn't, don't know how Kesha acted in public. I just know what her yeah, music was. So I don't know if she had this persona to her where she was ridiculous, where some of these people, they just their personas are just absolutely ridiculous. Mm-hmm. And as I don't know how anyone finds those personas appealing. So I don't know why those things make them, why acting like that actually makes them famous. Well, some people like it. Yeah. It's a whole party mentality. I don't have that. No, you do not. Do you? Yeah. Okay. I'm a party animal. Woo. Mm-hmm. Cool. Actually, I'm not. But I, I still want Lilo to answer. Answer. <laughs> Who do you think has a talented voice that you just don't enjoy their music, though? I've been thinking. That's a good question. I would have said Beyonce, but I don't even think her voice is that great, so. I just oh, wanted. To, I just wanted to make you mad. Some pretty. I just wanted to make you mad. Stuff. I just wanted to make you mad. I'm not a Beyonce fan, though. She has. I had one one album. She like. I like her, but I wouldn't consider myself like a fan. I'm okay. not part of the Beehive. The Beehive. I don't know. I that's so that. tough because like. 
I guess maybe Taylor Swift, but I also don't think she's like a great singer. No. But a lot of people really love her. But I think she's like a decent singer, but not. Yeah, no, she's a, she's an okay singer. When she first got on the scene, her live performances were kind of atrocious. She actually really, after becoming famous, she actually really had to work on her like singing chops and her ability to sing properly. Um, which I I applaud her for doing that and improving. She has definitely improved leaps and bounds on her live performances. Um, but I don't think she's extraordinarily gifted in her vocals. But everything else she does, like, I mean, she she wrote all of her own songs. I'm not sure if she still does all this stuff, but she used to write all of her own songs. She choreographed her own, uh, her own like, concerts. She designed the sets. She did all that stuff herself. Uh, granted, she had help build it and all that kind of stuff but but she did everything herself which i really do appreciate like that was really cool i'm not sure if she still does that are ghosts extinct are ghosts extinct yeah i mean no why not i mean they're all dead every single ghost is dead okay so wouldn't that be classified as being extinct no because i think i think extinct is ceasing to exist so if there is a ghost that exists, it's it's there. So it's well, extinct. ghosts don't exist. Well, then then there wouldn't be anything. Then there to would be extinct. extinct. But did they ever exist? I don't know. So that's the so if they ever existed, but and they, they still exist. They're not extinct. If they ever existed, but I think and they stop, don't exist anymore. Then yes, they would be extinct. But I don't know if ceasing to exist is the correct definition of extinction as well. I mean, what is the correct definition? I think it would actually be that they don't have enough numbers to like reproduce, and if that's the case, well, that's, well, ghosts, that's not ghosts that's, don't reproduce. Well, that's not that's not that's not true either because you could have one male rhino left in the world and it's not extinct. Extinct yeah. just means no longer in existence. No longer in existence. Yeah. See? Well, we have we currently have living animals that are considered extinct. No, we do not. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. Where are you getting this definition from? The, the 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 rhinos no yeah the rhinos are considered extinct no they aren't there are types of rhinos that are extinct that are considered extinct even though they still are alive because they cannot breed to maintain their life that's not being considered extinct yes no that's just being heavily endangered because there there are rhinos that are extinct there are different types of rhinos no, that exist let's find this out let's find out are there living extinct animals because i'm pretty sure there are Animals get classified as extinct before they're dead. Is is Lilo looking it up? Okay. Lilo, I can't see you. I'm sorry. So I just don't know. According to the AI thing from Google, yes, some animals that were once thought to be extinct have been rediscovered alive. Well, that's not the same thing. Yeah, that's, not, that's, that's not, not exactly the, right the same thing. thing. AI doesn't even know anything. AI can't even tell no, you how many R's are in strawberry. Okay. This is thinking I'm asking if there's animals that were thought to be extinct that are alive, but that's not what I'm asking. Do we have living extinct animals? Because, yeah. We Where have did rhino. you hear this from? The rhino report. Th- that's not a thing. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. What? There's a thing out there called the rhino. I mean, I'm sure actually there probably is something called the yeah, rhino report. Yeah, there's probably a lot of rhino reports but there, out there. But it's not something that you actually heard. So where did you hear this from? <laughs> the rhinos. <laughs> The rhinos themselves. <laughs> the rhinos told me. Did yeah. you know that? Did you know that that the term unicorn is actually what a rhino used to be called? Yeah. Did you know that? No. Okay. Yeah. So the term unicorn. I'm it up. The term unicorn actually came from a type of rhino that does not exist anymore. That was called like a unicorn, and that's where the term comes from. Here. Okay, so Russ, it's functionally extinct. If there's still some surviving members, but they just can't reproduce enough to yeah. repopulate. So, 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 so there you that's go. different. It's still different. It's functionally extinct, but not extinct. But that's still extinct. It's still extinct. Okay. But so, but we found out that the definition of extinct is ceasing to exist. So therefore, go, if ghosts are real, they would not be extinct. Well, according to the song, unicorns are extinct. They are, because the rhinos, the rhino that's called unicorn, don't, they are dead. They are all dead. There is no more unicorn rhino. There's a song about it. Uh, And does it reference rhinos? 
No. Or just unicorns. unicorns. Okay, who wrote that song? Well, that song. I Three couldn't tell you. alligators and long neck geese, Humpty back camel and a chimpanzee. <laughs> Cats and rats and elephants, but show as you're born, you're never going to see no unicorn. You guys don't remember that? I, Am I that old? I, no, I don't remember it because I've never heard it before in my I don't think life. I've wow. ever heard that either. Wow, that's really sad. When when was that song popular? Oh, probably in the 40s. Well, that's <laughs> why. You're that, I didn't know you were that old. <laughs> that's why. The 1840s. No, it was like in the, when I was a kid. Yeah. In the 40s. So when you were a kid in the 40s. Not in the 40s. Yeah. No. You're not that old. No. So anyways. Um, cool. So, so ghosts. You, no, I would say that if, if ghosts do exist, if we're saying that ghosts exist, then they would not be extinct because they still exist. But they can't reproduce. So they'd be functionally extinct, but <laughs> they are not extinct uh, by paper on paper because they exist. What do you guys? Know? But but also what about how? You? But, but what do you also, think about ghosts also, hold being on, extinct? Hold on, hold on, hold on, though. You don't know that they can't reproduce. Also, well, I'm pretty what it has sure. to do is die. You have no idea, right? And but also, <laughs> what is reproduce? Because there are different forms of reproduction. So so their their forms of reproduction. Actually, we might we might have the answer. We might have the answer on how ghosts reproduce. Aaron, you're a masseuse, and you have a story about someone who essentially made ghosts. But she didn't make ghosts. Well, t- but tell tell us about this lady. She liked to talk during her hour massage, and she would tell me how when she would go to sleep at night, she was connected to spirit, and this spirit would come and get her, and they would fly around through the space, and he would show her or point out, or they would decide who was going to die. And then she would, he would take her back to her bed, and she'd wake up in the morning. So maybe that's the way that scary, scary, yeah. But maybe that's the way that ghosts reproduce. So you can't. But I you would don't actually know. argue you that ghosts are not reproduced; they're just produced. But you there's don't know no reproduction. But you don't know if ghosts can have sex with each other, and have ghost babies. You don't know if there's a whole level of existence where the entire life of a being is in ghost form. You don't know. So what are you saying? Is that what reincarnation is? No, reincarnation is something completely different. This is a ghost fucking. Having a baby and then that baby is now given to flesh. No, that's is not a what ghost no, baby it comes given out to of flesh. The ghost, so you're telling me that there's vagina. ghosts out there that have no, never been living? That's that. That is what I'm saying. That is a theory that could exist somewhere in the world. That yes, there are ghosts that exist that never lived in the first place because they were born a ghost. I don't think so. It's possible. No, you don't know. I do know. I am now claiming to be a ghost expert. And I do know that ghosts, because there is no circulatory system, there's no ghost boner ever. But you don't know. Th- again, there are different d- forms of reproduction that exist in the animal yep, kingdom. There's, there's no ghost boner. So th- there doesn't need to be. People can like animals can reproduce by budding like SpongeBob. So like you but that's don't not know. what ghosts do. You don't know. I just told you I'm a ghost expert. And I'm telling you that they cannot. No. You don't in fact, know. they don't even have like a bottom torso. They just have shoulders and arms and a head, right? Like Casper never walked around. Casper did walk around. He Absolutely. Just, he just had the, the ghost, like the, the bottom. He uh, had no bottom half. The original Casper, look it up. He had flipping legs. He did. Yeah. He had these cute little legs. Yeah. yeah You're but, thinking of but genies. But he had no pants. You're thinking of genies. Yeah, genies can't reproduce either. They're close to ghosts. But they're the living version of ghosts. That's what genies are. <laughs> I dream a genie had legs. Well, I dream a genie had legs, but I don't think she's canonical genie. <laughs> well, she lived in a lamp. Yeah, yeah, she literally lived in a lamp. But her lamp wasn't a teeny tiny little cramped space. We're like we, we've learned from Aladdin that if if it's a true genie and a true genie lamp, it's tiny tiny and cramped. I don't I don't think so actually and here's why he was acting <laughs> he was acting <laughs> he made that up clearly he's a genie he could be any size he wanted and the inside of that lamp could be the size of three planets <laughs> 
I mean, he could literally have transferred himself to be. So if the fact that it was no, that well, no, cramped no, 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 for no, no, him, no, no, that's no, his no, fault. No, stop, stop though, because we've also learned that they don't have control over the lamp situation. The lamp situation is something that's outside of their power. No, 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 no. you're misinterpreting what I just said. I understand. I that. didn't. This has nothing to do with the lamp. It doesn't matter if the lamp is the size of this house, which we determined is a tiny house. <laughs> Or if it's the size of a nucleus. No, but the lamp like if restricts the lamp. their magical powers. So the lamp, they cannot change. I don't think that they could change their size inside of a lamp. Because, why not? Because the lamp restricts their powers. That's why they can't escape the lamp. They can't leave the lamp on their own, their own volition. They're just tied to it. They can't leave it under their own volition, though. Yeah, no. You're right, because they're tied to it. So, therefore, the lamp controls the power that they have. So, therefore, they can't make themselves smaller. The lamp is the size that it is. It's a physical They can object. make themselves smaller. Maybe not inside the lamp. Sure, they can. You don't I know. think they definitely can. You don't know. You're a ghost expert, yeah, not a genie expert. We're told you, I just told you I'm a ghost expert, and genies are living ghosts. Oh, jeez. So, by... <laughs> <geez. laughs> so, that means I'm an expert on both of them. I'm, on, I'm a ghost... Expert and a Jin expert. A Jin expert? Yeah. <laughs> that's what I call my girlfriend, so that's a little weird. A, no, not Jin. Uh. Well, I call her Jin. A Jin. D G I D J I N N. Jin. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Say it one more time. Jin. 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 Yes. I'm okay. an expert. Okay. And where where did you study this? Ectoplasm school. <laughs> okay, so first off, we know that Ghostbusters is not real ghosts. Okay, first of all, sure. What does that have to do with anything? That's the only place that ectoplasm has ever been used as far as referencing a ghost. Well, that's not true. It was in Blasto. Well, I don't know what that is. Did, was, were they referencing Blasto, Ghostbusters? Blasto. Was a video game on the PlayStation One where he was a space person, and it was voiced by the same di guy that did Troy McClure from The Simpsons. Oh, hi, I'm Troy McClure. Yes, <laughs> and I distinctly remember that because if you were to get a headshot on the alien, he goes, "Ah, oh, I love the smell of ectoplasm in the morning." Oh, oh, I do know this. Yeah, yes, I know that. Yep. we had the demo on a demo yep. disc. Yep. Remember that. So ectoplasm exists outside of ghosts. Yeah, well, which I am not an expert on ectoplasm. It was just the name of the school, by the way. Okay, I don't think it's real. What ectoplasm? Well, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert on ectoplasm. Right, but well, so but, but we know it doesn't come from ghosts. It ghosts have it. Well, how? So no, it's it. No, it, it leaves if you're, behind. If, they leave behind a residue. It's you, an ectoplasm residue. It's more like a chemical reaction. You just told me you don't know if it's real because you're not an expert on it. But you're an expert on ghosts. And now yeah. you're telling me that it does exist. Yeah. Because ghosts leave it behind. Yes. So what is it? Do you not know if it exists because you don't, you're not I'm an not expert on it? I'm not an expert on ectoplasm. <laughs> I'm not an expert on ectoplasm. But all that said, did you know that Aladdin actually takes place in the future? I don't want to get into this. Yeah. I don't know about that. Well, because if you played you played the video games, there's like stop signs and cars in the desert. So that happens. But also, where did the genie get all these uh, pop culture references to reference if it wasn't in the future? Because that genie was, again, acting. But where did he get the references from? The future. No, from the past. Well, the future. How did he get them from the future? Well, who's to say that somebody didn't, at once upon a time, say, hey, Genie, I want to know what the future is like. And they took a grand journey trip of knowledge about the future. So the Genie would have knowledge of the future without having to be from the future or having the future have passed. I think that it's highly much think, more likely that, that that Aladdin takes place in the future than that have happened. I don't think I don't think that's likely. I think my is more likely. Mm -mm. Yeah, I disagree. So 
Yeah, I don't think there's time traveling. I think they just looked into it. I don't think so. Okay. Okay. So we did did we decide if ghosts are extinct or not? They're not extinct. Okay. If they exist, they're not extinct. All right. Fair enough. Okay. So what's next? What else you got? Uh, a few things. What do you got? I just that was everything I just had. Okay. Was ghosts. I just um more more proof of a simulation. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And this one dates all the way back to 1951. Okay. So Do you know Dennis the Menace? Yeah. So apparently there were two different Dennis the Menaces. Okay. There is one that's released in the United States that we all know. Okay. Blonde-haired kid, whatever, with his overalls. And then there was another Dennis the Menace in, like, a red and black shirt with, like, red hair or orange hair or something like that. Can't remember exactly what it is. But they're both called the exact same thing, Dennis the Menace. Both had the same premise of being annoying kids created by two completely different people worlds apart in 1951 but the first issue of both of them was released on march 12th of 1951 they both came out at the exact same time mm-hmm. how does that happen or it's or that's not necessarily proof of a simulation but it's possibly proof of quantum entanglement i mean okay so yeah i mean i don't think we need proof of quantum entanglement that exists if it's happening i mean or of a simulation. I don't think I don't think so. Okay, why not? Cuz okay. the dogs are making a lot of noise. They're not as much noise as last time though. No. Um Aaron. Yes. How do you feel about the dogs? I love the dogs. Yeah. Do you want them? Do you want to <laughs> take them <laughs> home with two you? Two dogs already. So. That would eat No. That would eat these dogs. Yes. But yeah, do you have a do you have a favorite story about the dogs? Who me? Yeah. Oh yes, I do. What's that story? <laughs> when, when you guys first had him, and the one dog got on the bed and peed on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> that did happen. Yeah. It was when I was working third shift, and I got home at like nine o'clock in the morning from like a sixteen-hour shift overnight, and I was so tired. And Jenna had to run out and go to the grocery store. <laughs> so sh- the dogs came into bed with me, and I'm laying, I'm sleeping, and the one just comes up and is, like, staring me right in the face, and he just squats and <laughs> takes a leak all over my chest. I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> I'm glad you find that to be funny. I do. I had a, I went on a, was dating a guy, a, like a second date or whatever, and he brought this giant dog to my house. He had these huge dogs. I don't know if they were mastiffs or what. And the dog was older. He was having some issues. So we're sitting at the table talking, and the dog walks by, and poop starts falling out of his butt. And the guy, he was such a spaz, he jumped up, and he put his hands under the dog's butthole, <laughs> and he started following it, catching up. <laughs> Needless to say, that was our last date. That kind of reminds me of your story, the peeing thing. It's, it's <laughs> a little different. It's a little different. I'm like, he really didn't have to go to that extreme. <laughs> I would have just cleaned it up. So would you, so, okay, so if he had just let the poop fall on the floor, would there have been a second date? Yes, because it was a wood floor, and, and so the fact I would have just caught cleaned it. it up. So the fact that he went and, and caught it is what made well, you Well, it was not... just so spazzy. It's like, oh, my God, what are you doing? Yeah, that's it's weird. Did he like put it in a bag and put it in his pocket? And, like, no, he took it? it outside. He pushed the dog outside. He took it outside. I guess he threw it in my yard, which is even worse. <laughs> All right. That's another strike against him. Yeah. Nice. But anybody that would do that is is an odd person, and I didn't want to date him anymore. Plus, I wouldn't have been able to touch his hands yeah. <laughs> again. That's gross. Uh, people are weird. Yep. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You're looking at me like you're expecting me to say something here. No, that story ended, so now I'm looking at you. Yeah. Like you're expecting me to say something. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, right. this is partly your podcast, too, so say something. Okay. I, I, I have nothing to say to that. No, not to that. Just anything. Anything oh, else. okay. Yeah. Um, I have not. I don't know. I don't know. That kind of threw me off. I'm sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I do that to people. He's not a fan of poop stories. He's heard too many of them. Um, How many five-year-olds do you think it would take to, like, beat you? In? Not, I, I, I think, I, I don't know how people have, I really do not know how people think that they just can't last forever. <laughs> I mean, you get tired like, at like, There are people like, I think I could take 20. 20? I'll take them all. All at once. I'll take every single five-year-old all at once. You no, you. I would you. destroy them all. No, you, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but no, but here's but but there are so it depends on what the rules are because I've heard different rules. I'll fucking break no, the rules. Right, but it's but it's what the, like so I'm breaking all of them. Can I absolutely demolish these children it, and dude, like destroy they won't, them? They won't have faces. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like if I if I can absolutely destroy these children, yeah, I would choose. All of them. Thousands. Yeah, infinite. Right? But, well, not infinite because you'd get tired. Mm, I'll, you take a, I'll take a nap. <laughs> I, and if you're taking a nap, they just swarm you and kill you. No, like, I'll close the door. They're five. They can open it. No, no. This is just the room. Like, this is, you don't, you don't get, uh, you don't get in. No, 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 no. environment you're in. No, 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 no. I'm an adult and they're five. <laughs> I can go wherever I want. No, but that's not the scenario. Like, you're but in an arena. But it is the scenario. No, you're in an arena. Well, I'll, I'll just go take a nap in my own dressing room. <laughs> You don't get to leave. I I will. They're five. They can't stop me. Okay, so you're me. not. Okay, so you just don't care about the rules. But, no, I don't. But if you if you're not what? allowed if you're not allowed I am to beating like, children, what kind of rules are we following? Well, that's the thing. Is like if if you're not allowed to like kill the kids and you're not allowed to like be like if it's just like winning in a fight without like killing or maiming, it would be a lot less. I mean, it would take longer, but I don't know about that. I mean, if I can't kill them, I would suffocate all of, all of them until they're passed out. But that would take a little while. Yeah, but so you're doing one to you're suffocating one, one at a time. One at a time, yes. And then there you have fifty of them that are swarming. There are five. I'm fine. No, you you don't. I don't think you understand what five year olds are. I do. No, you actually, don't. I don't think you do. I don't. Yeah. I, I think yeah, my I my concern with this is more how out of shape you are than yeah. five year old that is still my point you know you, that is still you, my point you, i still think i would annihilate every single five-year-old ever you wouldn't i would you wouldn't oh this, yeah this is the worst answer i've ever heard anyone give you just no. wouldn't. you don't understand no i think i would take you. all of them huh? out they'd be biting and everything yeah. Russ, you smoke so many cigarettes you'd be winded yeah i will be beating these five-year-olds <laughs> while smoking no <laughs> Yeah, I'll have one in my mouth. I'll blow the smoke in their face, and they'll be like, that, no. "It's actually one of my tricks." Russ, <laughs> use smoke screen. Super effective. I would love to see that. I don't think he. I actually now I really want to set this. I up. think at some I point know, right? you just get dog piled and you just can't move. Yeah, you would, <laughs> five. I am fine with that. There's hundreds of them. That, Okay. No, 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 no. There's infinite of them because he thinks he can take on eventually, every single five-year-old ever Eventually, they're just going to poke your eyes out, too. How much do five-year-olds weigh? Yeah. yeah. Like but, 40 but they're, pounds. No, no, no. They, there are five-year-olds five 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 that are, like, four foot tall already. Like, there are big five-year-olds. In this day and age, yeah. 34 to 50 pounds. <laughs> 34 was the bottom end. I gave them more poundage. I will... Decimate them all. You're gonna get a. You're gonna get oh like a few like five disabled. I will not if there's literally. Samoan five year olds. In there. I will literally double wield two children by the ankles. Not if they're Samoan. They're gonna be like a hundred pounds. What? What? Is, <laughs> okay. All right. Samoans so big. one one uh, Samoan children <laughs> might give me trouble, but they're still five, and I'm still gonna bash their face in. You're not. You're not. You're <laughs> yeah, not. I am. I'm destroying every child. You wouldn't. I you would. couldn't. I would. I would. You wouldn't. Yeah, but, but I would. You're wrong. So I can can we get thing. can we get a hundred After Russ people. picks up his first five year old, his hand is just gonna be so fucking painful. Yeah, your hand yeah. you got yeah. your boo boo hand. I don't think yeah. you could take on a hundred, so can we get a hundred man? Can we get people to, to volunteer a hundred kids to to fight him? <laughs> I know, right? 
tickets sell tickets? Because it's not going to happen. He's not going to win. He, I don't think he's going to make it through half of them. So half of you will have kids that are completely unharmed. So it's fine. No, you won't. Actually, you won't. You won't have children anymore. So well, don't volunteer them. Have they, you ever seen midget wrestling? We just talked about that on the, <laughs> a couple episodes <laughs> ago. <laughs> they give them as little midgets. So no, we probably uh, we, we don't say that word. It's little people. You don't say that word. I love the word midget. <laughs> oh, I don't think little people like that word. Yeah. I do. They're so cute. <laughs> I'm also not sure how big of a fan they're going to feel about being equated to five-year-olds, but yeah. Whatever happened to Chingy? Like Dick Cheney? No, <laughs> Chingy. Well, I don't know what that is. He was a rapper. Was he a um, he, little he's, people rapper? He, no, he sang a song specifically <laughs> about a holiday inn. That would be oh, cool. Well, uh, Eminem, just, uh, Eminem just had a song that had midget in it, too. So he's dropping the M word. Well, okay. But I don't know who that is, and I don't... Why, what, was, what was his song? Can you rap it for us? Um... Hey, Chingy, what you doing? Oh, nothing. Just staying at the Holiday Inn. See the Holiday That's about Inn. all I know. Okay. Is that even how it went? No. Uh, apparently, the, t- the way those two are looking at me, I'm guessing they don't know what I'm talking about. But yes, that is how the song went. If you wanted to look it up so we can find out what Chingy was, he had two hit Holiday singles Inn. from like the early aughts. Hotel, motel, Holiday. Okay. I did. Okay. Right. Hold on, I'm looking at We thought at of a Chingy. completely different song when you said Holiday Inn because our both of our thoughts were Hotel, Motel, Holiday Inn. And no. he was a midget? No. Hotel, no. Motel, Holiday No. Oh. The only connection here is that he was singing about a Holiday Inn. Oh. Yeah. I, okay. Because you went to a Holiday Inn to yeah. see them. Yeah. Well, that's crazy. <laughs> One. Ludacris and Snoop Dogg's on this song, and I've still never heard of this guy. Mm-hmm. I just want to I, Dude, it is fucking shocking. How often you guys doubt me and I'm proven right? It's <laughs> Who fucking you? shocking. Is Who doubted you? you? No one doubted you. Everybody. Who doubted you? About what? Yeah. Roll no the tape back. I literally, I literally Roll the tape the, back. Like, Who oh, doubted you? Just, oh, it really is a song. He's right. Uh, yeah. That's I, I, not I, what I said. We've just never heard I of it. I said, I can't believe that Ludacris and Snoop Dogg is on this song, and I've never, I still oh, have never heard yeah, of Chingy. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah I think Chingy. you, you're the old, you have self-doubt. Oh, yeah. That's you true. are You are manifesting your own doubtness. I don't know how to manifest Perfect. it, but yeah, it, ha- it just okay. is there. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, you know what? I've seen this album cover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> Chingy was really big. Oh. He was really, really big. Well, look at now that that I might doubt that he was really big, but he might have he might have been semi popular. Mm. I mean, he was really big when his amongst the seven people that knew who he was Uh, amongst that summer, (laughs) amongst that summer. (laughs) The album cover does look familiar. You know, like LMAFAO, like they were really big, but for like six months. Okay, I don't know who that is either. They do that party rock song. Oh, I hate that song. It doesn't matter. They were still really big for that one summer. They were. Yeah, right? Like, it just happens. That's how music and fads go. Like, things can be really big for a very short amount of time. Yeah. All right. Huh. Apparently, Chingy dropped a new single in 2022. Oh, dope. So he's still around. Dope. That's cool. Good for Chingy. Yeah. Anything else on your list for today? Oh, it's probably a lot. Yeah. Um, what's the weirdest place you've ever fallen asleep at? <laughs> um, I have a list. Well, so define fall asleep. <laughs> like, you are asleep. Well, th- does passing out count as sleeping? No. Okay. Your disease doesn't count. Because I was going to say a roller coaster. Yeah. <laughs> No, a, a a place that you've legitimately gone to sleep, not knocked out, not passed out, volunt, for the most part, voluntarily gone to sleep. I, it's like the worst place. It's like couch. on a plane. The couch. The couch. I don't. I've never fallen asleep anywhere other than where I'm uh, intending to sleep. Okay. I mean, I guess. Hold on. I've definitely fallen asleep while driving a semi truck before. Okay. 
Oh, but boy. but that lasts all of three seconds, and okay. I'm awake. So that's happened. Okay. Fair enough. So I guess do you, guys, do you guys have like a weird spot you've ever fallen asleep at? A park. Okay. <laughs> On a bench, or like, did you? No, it was in a field. Just in the middle of the field. Mm, it was right next to a soccer goal. Was it intentional or? Were sure. You, were you on drugs? No, I, I don't think I was on drugs. I, I think it was he doesn't think he's not sure. <laughs> I think it was before I was sixteen, so oh, okay. I don't think I would have been on drugs at all. Right. Because you don't get on drugs till you're sixteen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what, that's what we learned. Hard yeah. limit. Um, Lilo, where's your place? Either the floor in Carl's basement a long time ago, or <laughs> there's one time I fell asleep outside. I decided to take a nap. <laughs> But other than that, not a lot of weird places because I'm a light sleeper, so okay. I don't easily fall asleep. So I guess I'd say um, the floor at Carl's basement during band practice. Okay. Were you I don't think drunk? That's 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, I don't think that's, 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 that's No, I wasn't passed out. I went to sleep. I, don't think that's I would take depression weird. naps. I think that's funny how you said that you're such a light I'm sleeper, but yet you fell asleep at like band practice. like six couches downstairs. Yeah, that's but I was very depressed. Place. Yeah, I think sometimes I'd fall asleep on the couch, but then other times, if I really just wasn't feeling it, I'd just go to sleep on the floor. Especially in the old basement. And back then. It was the old basement. Yeah, it was there the old basement. Carpet. So it was unfinished, no. kind of like this and everything like that. So it was like really comfy. I was not there mentally was well. Like, I had like a little rug down there. Was, I was it on the rug? I don't remember. I was not <laughs> mentally well at that time. <laughs> Aaron. Me? Yeah. I fell asleep on a park bench with my boyfriend, watched standing guard because uh, we were in another state, allegedly on vacation, but we ran out of money to get a hotel room, so we had to sleep in the park, and in the middle of the night, a bum came out from behind the bushes and told us, hey, you know, you guys can sleep in here. It's it's ni- nice. In the bush? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. We're like, no, that's okay. He's willing to share his bush with you. I know, that's- right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, normally homeless people do not like to share their bushes. No. Right. So what What about you? Where's your... Oh, I've got a list. <laughs> well, but with, you, strange, you can't have a it? list of the single weirdest place. That was the, the How many of was. these are in Washington? All of them. None of them. Oh. Okay, so it's not during Three that. of them happened here. In right this, now? In this house? No. No, actually, <laughs> I guess we're not even in Wisconsin, so I none of them happened here. Okay. <laughs> um... So I've fallen asleep at Summerfest. I've taken a nap in the middle of Summerfest. <laughs> it's pronounced taked. Um, um, yeah, that was uh, when I sat there all day so I could stay front row for Coheed. Um, Is that when I met you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I slept oh, at some point in good. the middle of that day. Good for you. In the rain. Thank you. Um. I have slept. Uh, I slept through. Uh, there's this band called In This Moment, a uh, fairly big band. I slept through their entire act when they were opening up for Five Finger Death Punch once. Yeah. Um, that was at the rave. Um, the first big band uh, that I have ever seen was Mudvayne. I took a I took a nap in the middle of the crowd. This just all <laughs> concerts. Um, no, the next one's not going to be. Um. And then the next one is Disneyland. <laughs> I slept on a bench at Disneyland for like three hours. When you were like 12? Uh, I was like 16. 16, 16 okay. maybe 15. It was a school trip. Yeah, it was a school trip. It was a school trip. I thought it was younger than that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, no, was, we were in the band and everything like that. It was like for the band trip. It was mm-hmm. a band school trip. And uh, we performed our thing. And. Everybody went to go do their thing, and I was like, well, we did our thing yesterday. How much more of Disneyland is there? I don't care to see anymore, and I slept. I had nobody with me, so I just slept on a on a bench in Disneyland for, like, three hours. Cool. Yeah, it was, people were not happy that I did that. No, was, they usually kick people out for that. <laughs> Well, I was talking about people I knew, not the workers. Oh, okay. Well, they still they usually kick people out for doing things like that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess my my but thing I was is like a child. I'm surprised that you got away with sleeping in the rave. Like what the f- <clears throat> What? They're not they're not supposed to let you do that. Well, I was up in the balcony. I was in a seat. What are they going to do about it? I thought you okay, said you, you guess... fell asleep in the middle of a crowd. That was during Mudvayne. 
So how did you fall asleep in a crowd, though? Like you were oh, standing they up? were so jam-packed. So something that you may not know oh, man. Yeah. about concerts, especially if there's no seating, people try to get as close to the stage as humanly possible. Right, get that. And yeah. when there's a lot of people... You can't move, oh, yeah, I know, I know. and and you go with the motions of the I, the crowd, yeah. and that's exactly what happened. I literally put my arms back like this, and I just leaned back, and I let the crowd just take me away for a while. Okay. And I slept for like probably like six minutes. I missed like two songs of theirs. Yeah. Well, I mean, I I, it's not that strange for me to not fall asleep in weird places because like I just don't eat, I have a hard time sleeping anyways, so. Like me, I'll get tired, and that's why like I sleep. I fall asleep on the couch, and if I fall asleep on the couch, I just might as well just stay there because if I get up to go to bed, the walk up the stairs will completely wake me up, and I won't be able to sleep. We also have to remember that I chose these, those those examples when I had a decent part of my life where I didn't have a place to sleep. Right, but but you were sleeping in like a tent tents bushes abandoned so, houses like yeah, did you, you share your bush with people i did not <laughs> that's what i'm saying like you do not that's you don't you. share your bush with people but yeah but like but like the thing is you like you didn't have a place to sleep but you had a tent so i'm just like that's not weird because you're just sleeping in a tent that's not a weird but place that was at all. a very short stint amongst a lot of it oh i thought you had i thought you it's, like, it's, i didn't travel with a tent no, oh, I, this was in a friend's grandma's backyard. Right, no, I but I thought you were there for a considerable amount of time. No. Oh, okay. Maybe. No, I don't think so. I thought it was months. No. Okay. At least not all at once. It might have been there for a while and I could come back to it, but no, not all at once. So. Cool. Yeah. You guys didn't have all that many weird places to sleep. Because no, we're because we're pretty much normal people. Yeah. And you're not, I guess. Yeah, I don't know how you fall asleep at concerts. Yeah, no, that doesn't make any sense to me. Why? How do you fall asleep in the crowd? Sounds like something Eric would do, though. Well, first off, because you went to the concert. So if, you, yeah. if you're if you going to the concert, you should be equipped enough to be awake for it. So for the Five Finger Death Punch concert... Where I slept through in this moment, I was not there for in this moment. I was there for Five Finger Death Punch. That's the saddest part about the whole story. Because in the in this moment is much better band. At the mm-hmm. time, they were nothing. Still, this was before they were anything. Okay. Um. Like, Five Finger Death Punch's first album barely was on this shelf. Like the only songs that they had to play live was that one album, and it was literally the album just rearranged. It was kind of interesting. Yeah, I saw them back then too, but I saw them over Seether, so neither band were very good. <laughs> yeah, Seether was, yeah. But uh, I've seen them, I think once, back then too. Mudvayne, Mudvayne, I was worked all day, and I was very, 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 very tired. Mm-hmm. Um, so that was my excuse there. All right. That was a cool show. That was like the first, yeah, first real concert that I've ever been to. Oh, was it? Yep. All right. That was. I mean, I've been to local shows and everything before that, but yeah, that Mudvayne show was the first one I ever went to. My first concert was. I was a wee lad. Switchfoot. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. And then Diamond Rio. I cannot tell you what the second one was after that. I mean, I the only reason why I know is because I went to Switchfoot and then Guar, we, huh? probably Guar. Oh. But I went to Switchfoot. Yeah, that was one of my first with Lamb of God. But that was like the third time I saw Guar. But before before you and I were going to Coheed and Cambria concerts together, I had been to like four concerts total. Like I didn't go to concerts. Mm-hmm. I'm still not the biggest fan of concerts. I'll go see. Th- but what about like Summerfest? I don't. That's probably even worse for him. Then, yeah, I I only went to Summerfest to see Switchfoot, which wasn't my first one. That was like my fourth time seeing them. And I went to I go to Summerfest to see Coheed. Do you go to like other festivals or no? no? Okay. The, I mean, I went to like fair festivals. That's what I mean. Like, but then have I you ever been to? But like... then I went to see 
like I went to see Charlie Daniels. Oh, okay. So, at, so I, I'm you don't going, just go to like festivals just to hang out and do the festival stuff. Okay. No. That um, makes more sense then. Yeah. Are you going to try to go see Switchfoot? I, where are they playing? I don't even know. They're, they're on, a, it's a beautiful letdown 20th anniversary. No way. Yeah. I mean, if they're going to be anywhere near, then yeah, I have no idea. Potentially. I try to go see Lincoln they Park. Always, always hit Chicago. Places always almost hit Chicago. I'll see. I'll see Switchfoot. The one thing I really liked about Switchfoot all the time is John Foreman always like just walked up the bleachers. He'd always get into the crowd and he'd like walk up the bleachers and see everyone. I thought that was really cool. And Lincoln Park announced a world tour and I wanted to go see it. Who? Lincoln Park. Oh, Lincoln Park. But it was interesting because uh, I thought they were announcing this like it was going to happen next year. No, they came out, performed their show, saying, hey, we're going on tour. The show is in three days. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's gonna, They're in L.A. on the 11th, and then they're going to be in, like, s- like, I think they're going to Seoul, in Korea. Uh, I forget where else they're going. Maybe, like, Bangladesh or something. Like, But it's, like, six dates, and it's all within the next, like, two weeks. I was like, is that I Lincoln Park? That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That that um, uh, new singer. Mm-hmm. We talked wow. about that already. I'd never heard of Dead Sarah, but I listened to her. Oh my God! Yeah, we talked about she's her. She's awesome. We talked about her on the last episode. She's mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. Emily cool. Armstrong. Yep. I haven't heard of any of this, so yeah, I don't know yet. Oh yeah, they got a new singer. Yep. She's like a co-singer, yeah. and she is the bomb. You should check out Dead Sarah. Yeah. So. Well, I do. Like it. But yeah. You go to concerts like every week. Aaron. Well, I go to like the fair concerts, like the free stuff. But the, I'll go yeah, to a yeah, like the I, Addison, I'll go to a concert whatever. if I really want to see them. But I get pissed at the prices. Like right now, Oasis, they had that reunion, mm. and they had there's a big fiasco because Ticketmaster's doing a surge pricing thing. They oh. claim they didn't know it was going to happen, but then in the then they said they agreed to it. So it's like. But uh, it's not really fair. Like one person pays one hundred seventy dollars, the other one pays five hundred dollars. Mm. So what was the last so concert concert you've been to? Not like a local show. Well, I mean, that one that we went to was not a local. Um, Craig Owens. Yeah, Oceano was after that though. That okay, was more I didn't recent. go to that one, so um, I didn't know. I don't know. I can't call probably Oceano was probably like a not the the last non local show I saw. Okay. Maybe otherwise DGD with that was a while us. ago. Yeah, but oh, we I saw Craig I Owens. I didn't see DGD with you. Oh, Polyphia, my bad. Polyphia, yeah, Polyphia. Yeah, I saw Polyphia, yeah. That's right. That was uh, but f- for Switchfoot, it looks like you're gonna have to go to the rave. Oh, when? Uh, October eighth. Okay, birthday present. You want to go with? I don't know. Okay, cool. I mean, maybe. Who are they playing with? Does it say? Are they? Do they have any support? Oh, I don't know. Be cool if Vinyl Fever was playing. Oh yeah. I'm just I've gonna go play the once. I tell you, I saw them play for that Vinyl Fever. Yeah. No. They they, they open for Twenty One Pilots. Oh, and you saw that show? I did see that show. Yes. Oh, that's cool. I didn't, I knew you went to go see Twenty One Pilots. I didn't know Vinyl Fever opened up for them though. They weren't supposed to. It was supposed to be Mute Math. Oh, and then Mute Math couldn't make it. Well, so good, uh, really good for them then. So then, yeah. So then, uh, that's well, who I thought that was gonna be. By the way, so they called them. They're just like, "Hey, you thought who was gonna be what?" I thought that was gonna be Nick Caesars. Oh no, yeah, no Nick Caesars. I'm trying to get on one of the times I'm up by you because he lives up there. So why would I have someone to come down here? I have no like, fucking idea. Yeah, no, I because I have some things on that's here. That's why that it was gonna be like a weird surprise. Okay, That's why so I have some things on here that I want to talk about that specifically. So first of all, October 8th is a Tuesday. Oh, Let me just rough. Yeah, get that out of the way. <laughs> uh, and they're playing with somebody called Lost Boy Crow. Okay. Don't know them. Lost Boy Crow. All right. Um, yeah, my last concert, though, was who? Iris, the song Iris. Was that the Goo Goo Dolls? Mm-hmm. That's the last concert I saw. Weird. It I didn't. It was a charity event that I went to for. Was that recently? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I remember well, seeing that recently, as in it was in January. Yeah. But yeah. But uh, yeah. I saw the Goo Goo Dolls, but otherwise, before that, it was Polyphia. That was the last one. How was How was Goo Goo Dolls? They actually were pretty good. Yeah. They did pretty good. Yeah. That's cool. They were a big one. Yeah. They They performed live really well. 
still today. Like they they did it was a pretty good concert. Well, they better. They've been performing that same one hit single for the last thirty years. No, it's actually surprising. It's actually surprising to learn how many songs that you actually would know that are the Google Dolls. Oh yeah. I'm shocked because like I'm like who the heck? What do they do? And then so like Jenna's like, well, they did the song Iris, and I know the song Iris. Mm-hmm. And then she played others. I'm like, oh, I know this song. She played another one. I know this song. And she played like five more songs. I'm like, I know all these songs. Like, I am I just didn't know that they're the Goo Goo Dolls. And honestly, I think that's kind of how a lot of people feel. Is that You hear these songs on the radio, but you just don't know who they were. Mm-hmm. And those are the Goo Goo Dolls. If there's a song you heard on the radio and you don't know who it is, the answer is it's the Goo Goo Dolls. That, I don't know. That's probably not true. <laughs> that is not true at all. Yeah, I don't know a lot of pop songs, so it's no, probably I'm, I know. It was, a, it was a joke, guys. I'm not, <laughs> you don't need to take that seriously. What, that you know those songs? No, that that every song you hear that you don't know the artist, it's the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. This is definitely the Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. All right, unfortunately, I'm sick of talking to you guys. It's okay. So I'm just going to go. Sounds good. Is that okay? Yeah. All right, see you later. No. No, you're not allowed. Carl, hold her down. Well, I'm just going <laughs> to do it. Use the, extension co- use the extension cords to tie her up, please. <laughs> Thanks for coming, Aaron. I sorry you didn't enjoy this at all. I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. That's good. Did you hear me laugh? Nope. I don't think anyone could hear you laugh. No. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Um. So well, yeah. yeah. Do you have anything else? Uh, I don't know. Subscribe. So- uh, just real quick, yeah. my sister just went to a concert recently, and she saw a band that I've never heard of, and I was wondering if you guys have ever heard of Bikini Kill? Nope. Uh, I've heard of it. I don't even, but I don't know. I've heard the name. It's only. an all-female band, and it's yeah. fairly pretty punk. Yeah, it's more punk than I thought my sister was. Yeah, actually, because like I, I knew my sister listened to stuff like Modest Mouse and kind of like. That kind of stuff, but Ooh, I didn't I'd know love she to went see like. Modest Miles. You haven't seen Modest Miles? I have not seen. That's Modest shocking Miles. to me. That'd be a lot of fun. That's actually very surprising. Yeah, so that was a new band that I just learned about. Well, not new, but a band that I've learned about. They're yeah. pretty old. I'm fairly positive I remember seeing the advertisements for that show. Actually, I think that's probably where I know the name. Oh, I wonder if this other band got their name for. Th- they released an album in 1996 called Reject All American. Oh. I wonder if All American Rejects got their name from that. Hmm. Maybe. No. There's a quite a few. They uh, released their first album in 1993 called oh. Pussy Whipped. Nice. There's a lot of female bands from back in the day. Oh, that are pretty it's good. so weird. They have an album 1993, 1996, 1998, and then 2014. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, it's like, <laughs> it's like Kitty. Like they, it's been like 13 years since they put out. An yeah, album there's a few bands one. that like used to be like they were on the verge of making it, and then they disappear for so long, and then they come back. They're like, you know, let's take another swing at it. But uh, New Year's Day, I don't think it was an all female band, but the female were not. female vocalist, and I'm a fan of her. Oh, mm-hmm. they're based in Olympia. That makes sense. So that might be a big reason why you've heard of them. That that would make sense because like. That area came. Feminist I mean, there was punk. There was also like Slater Kinney. Slater Kinney came out of like that area too back then. Um, in that area, um, that grungy, grungy, punky area. Oh, just, they're credited uh-huh. with instigating the Riot Girl movement. Nice. Didn't didn't we have like friends slash people we knew in Washington that were friends with people of Modest Mouse? That I don't know. Wasn't R W. You know who R.W. is? Oh, no. Troy's more like it. Drummer, the drummer, R.W. Oh, he was a big fan. I don't know. Oh, he thought, might I, have met them. I thought he knew them. I thought he personally knew them. I'm, I, he might have met them, but he was a big fan. I don't think I've ever seen him was, wear a shirt that wasn't a Modest Mouse shirt. It was. Pre- he was probably the person that got me into Modest okay. Mouse to begin with. Right. Um, that guy... That guy went through some crazy things. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Why? Like, after the fact? Yeah. Because he went into the military. No way. And he, like, died. What? And he's alive. Oh. I mean, it wouldn't be... Actually, it wouldn't be that surprising if he died because everyone in Washington died. Yeah. So. But, no, like, so... I'm probably going to get certain details of this incorrect. But, basically, how it works is... 
they were given an, an immunity or vaccine vaccination shot against anthrax. Okay. And anthrax has to be administered by your body weight. Um, and they fucked up on his because you remember him. He was, for lack of a better term, kind of a small dude. Yeah, he's skinny, yeah. Well, they gave him the guy that was behind him all of his dose. <laughs> and that guy was a huge dude. So he basically got double the dosage of the anthrax. And what happens if you OD on anthrax is your heart stops. And how do you start a heart? With adrenaline. Again, clerical error. That adrenaline was for the guy behind him. So then he was pumped full of four times the amount of adrenaline, was dead. They hit him with the adrenaline, literally popped up, didn't even know anything happened. He was fine. He didn't even know what hit him. He was, what? What are you looking at me for? Was there more crazy stuff that happened to him, or is that it? Uh, quite a bit, but I don't know uh, some more of it off the top of my head. Right. Um, they were in a really good band. I wish I wish they would have stayed together. Can you say the name of that band? Yeah. What was it? Lavinia. Oh, yeah. Le- yep. I remember that. Lavinia. Tickets on a Trip to Nowhere. That was that CD that they put out back then. And when did they disband? Uh, probably right after high school. Oh, okay. Because they put w- they put out an album in the middle of high school. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't. As most uh, long term bands kind of end up doing, okay. right? Like they have bands from when they're a kid. Right. Um. Yeah. The uh, um. Yeah, he went into the military, and then uh, the main singer dude, he kind of ended up going. I know he did a stint of modeling, um, and I don't remember what the bass player guy did. But yeah. The Fall of Troy. I, I said that. Oh, did you? I said, yeah, Russell saw, Russell saw, like, their, like, not their first concert, but a concert in, like, a coffee shop. Well, this was, I, I, I said that exclaimingly because that might, that, probably the last real That's concert that i've been to oh in the fall of troy and then you told them that you saw them was that yeah. not the craig owens show were those two different shows yeah oh okay yeah yeah fall of troy they headlined their own though show because it was the 20th anniversary i didn't or i thought fall of troy didn't headline fall of troy was the headline at that show too at the other show fall of troy was the headline at that show oh, craig owens right. with seafloor cinema you're, uh, I, anders uh, andreas andreas and that other band that i've never heard of yeah uh, they voila. were the second on the bill yeah, yeah voila. that's what i'm was what i was forgetting yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. fall of troy was yeah they were there by themselves or not by themselves but they, they were headlining that show yeah. mm-hmm. i forgot who else was part of there but yeah that was a good lineup as well that's cool. So yeah. Like seeing like this like local small town that you went to and then seeing yeah. them actually make yeah, it. Yeah, and the Fall of Troy, yeah, that that was the band, yeah, I, I saw when they were considered like a local band. We didn't even go there for them. No, we didn't. Mm. They were just an added bonus. Who did we go there for? Seafloor Cine- Cinema. No, Seafloor was during Craig Owens, right? Oh. No, oh, yeah, no, you told me the story. You went to see Seafloor Cinema. It's yeah. Seafloor. Yeah. That's what you told. Yeah, I remember the story. Uh, you told me that. Craig Owens. I don't even remember. Yeah, I don't remember either. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. No, not really. Well, that's cool. Um, Kurt Travis is coming to Chicago real soon with dwellings. Dwellings? Mm-hmm. To Chicago, you said? Mm-hmm. Now, which venue? Mm, give me one second. It's House of Blues. I don't want to go. It's not the House of Blues. Oh, okay. Well, we can go then. If, uh I hate the House of Blues. I'll never go back to the House of Blues again. I would. I ho- is it at the Salt Shed? That'd be cool. Oh, it could be uh, the Social Club. It's at the Bottom Lounge. Ah, what's the Bottom Lounge? I don't know that one. A, a venue in Chicago. The cool. WC Social Club is super cool, though. Yeah, that one was a cool one. Um, it's Kurt Travis with special guest uh, Jeff Rickley of Thursday. Okay, not Would a big you, Thursday fan. I uh, I know that's like that's like a really big emo okay, one. Let's right? get to the, the dwellings. Screamo. Thing. Let's get to the okay. dwellings. Um, 
predisposed post NC and dwellings. And I what is this? Um, it is not going to be there for anyone but K- Travis and Dwelling. Then yeah. Um, uh, Although, I don't 15th. know. I don't know the other bands, so November maybe. 15th. But I also feel like so. Correct me if I'm wrong. You guys are bigger concert people than I I am. But mm-hmm. if you have a headliner mm-hmm. and then you have like four or five other bands that play before mm-hmm. you, they're gonna play like two or three songs. No. So um, what is happening, and this happens quite often, there is only three bands at that show. Okay. It is going to be uh, Dwellings. Um, I forgot. So Dwellings is playing every show on that tour. Okay. So this is like if I'll show, uh, I'll, I'll explain it specifically. So when you see the poster, <laughs> the band Predisposed has a plus mark after it. Post NC has like uh, the triangle after it. And then Dwellings has an asterisk after it. And then you go down the list of all the tour dates and you will see a plus sign and an asterisk. That means Predisposed and Dwellings is going to be there. Okay. So okay. So but then so, so if dwellings changes. if dwellings is playing on all of the shows, yeah. they're the main one. So they're going to be like the main pre-band. Uh so on the show that they're on Wait, they're not headline. It's Kurt Travis headlining? Kurt Travis is headlining. If that makes sense. Yeah. Solo? All of solo stuff? Yeah. Okay. Cuz I think he just put out a a, well, a new solo he's album. He's in a new band right now, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Royal Coda. Oh, that's not a new band. I Well, no, not, not new, but that's like sure? 3 or 4 I years thought, old. I thought I heard he was starting a one a new band with somebody. That I would like Maybe to know his that. brother? I've not heard it yet. Ooh, that'd be cool. I think he said he was starting a new band with his brother. He might but be. Kurt, Kurt Travis is the vocal that I like the most. For Dance Probably, Gavin yeah. Dance. Yeah. Probably. Okay. He's on Happiness. Yeah, that yeah, Happiness. Did he also favorite. do He did self-title? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, self titles my favorite. Fucking love it. Yeah. And it's but self title is called self titled. Or is it called Dance Gavin Dance? Uh, it'd be called self called, yeah. it's, it's called, called Dance, called Gavin, Dance Gavin, Dan- Gavin Dance. Everyone Dance, calls so it Death, Death Star. Star though. That's, which is their first album, isn't it? No. no. Or, it's their second one. The one with like the orange faces. No, like, it'd be their, thir- their first it's one. their So third technically album, the technically. one with the face, that's an E P, right? Whatever I say is Royal Ocean. That's not even a face. That's just abstract art. But yeah, that's okay. their first album. That's their first that's album. That's still an LP. That's not a... Uh, okay, I thought it was an EP. Yeah, whatever uh, I say. And then their Ocean. second album is Downtown Mountain. Yeah, oh, Downtown Battle yeah. Mountain. And then, and then, but, uh, then the Death Star one, whatever, came that's out in 2008, third. right? I don't... Don't ask me a year. That's, that's about right. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Uh, but because you have se- like self-titled albums... Mm-hmm. But it's the it's the name of it. But I hear people reference Dance Gavin Dance as self titled self titled like album. So I was wondering if they just called it that. If that's what they decided to call it, you know? No, it, no. Like, it's oh, just okay. it just happens. It's um, called Dance Gavin Dance. I'm I'm basically the only person that calls it self titled. Oh, okay. I've heard other people reference it. So that's yeah, weird. Well, yeah, I've never heard people... anyone call it anything but Death Star. Yeah, because like there are some people out there that just get butt hurt about things like that. It's not called Death Star. <laughs> You know, it's the, their self-titled album. I'm like, well, if that's the case, then it's Dance Gavin Dance, and you saying self-titled album is still even more is just as wrong as me saying Death Star, right? No, like it's just people. people get, you're, you're not gonna say the band name to signify the album that right, you're doing. But I'm just saying altogether, it's just words, and you know, um, so so it's easier to do to say self-titled for something like that. Whereas opposed to there are certain bands, um, I guess the most popular one that you would hear of would be like Weezer. Weezer has like three or four self-titled albums, mm-hmm. but people call them the pink album, the blue album, because the cover album is just pink okay. or blue or something like that. Um, to- uh, Tony Danza, Tap Dance Extravaganza. S- like they're all- Down just have an album called Self-Titled? Yes, but that one they actually called That's self-titled. That's what I'm saying. They yeah. named it self-titled. Yes, it is actually named self-titled. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, Tony Danza. They have like they have tap all their dance albums. Dance Extravaganza? Yeah. Da- Tony Danza Tap ga- Dance Extravaganza. They have like their four <laughs> albums. They're all self-titled. They don't have titles and everybody calls them like You can't Tony- just say Tony Danza. <laughs> they just say Tony Danza 1 or Tony Danza 3. Yeah. 
or yeah. whatever. They, well, when you're referring to the tap dance extravaganza, you can't just say Tony well, dance. I technically people. said tap dance extravaganza oh, before, I didn't, I didn't hear and it. people okay. talked over me, so I okay. just went back to just it saying Tony me. dance. I didn't talk over you. That was probably <laughs> me. I talk over Russ all the time. Yeah, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Rightfully so. Um, well, when he stops saying, oh, you know, maybe I'll <laughs> stop talking over him. Yeah. And so... Um, yeah, Johnny Craig. Speaking of that, he just came out with new music. Yeah. So, if you care about that, does he sing He's on, or does he? Yes. Sing? Okay. Is he on tour right now? Yeah, he should yeah. be on tour as well. That's what I thought. To support a, the the album he dropped. Because mm-hmm. he's the unclean vocalist, isn't he? He's well, he was the one that Kurt Travis replaced. Yeah. Whatever I say is Royal Ocean, uh, Downtown oh, One, and he, Downtown Two. Kurt Travis was the regular vocalist, wasn't he? Kurt Travis was the regular vocalist in Self Titled and Happiness. Right. Yes. Johnny Craig was the regular vocalist in Downtown Battle Mountains One and Two, and Whatever I Say is Royal Ocean. Right. And mm-hmm. then Tillian was after all that. Okay. So I just asked you yeah. if if Johnny Craig was the unclean vocalist and you said, yes, he's the one that Kurt Travis replaced. So that's yeah. where the confusion came from. Cause I said, not unclean, unclean vocalist. He's the clean vocalist. Yeah. So he's the yeah. clean. He's the clean. That's okay. John mess. You're thinking of but John mess. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although his voice is the uncleanest of the clean vocals. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, very good. Tillian uh, has new vibrato. stuff too. And I don't know what kind of shit he's pulling right now. Is it Tillian? Why? Yeah. No, let's not even talk about him. But is it Tillian? Is it Tillian Tillian or is it Tillian? Just, a, like another talk band? about him. It's Tillian Tillian. Okay. Why is it bad? Is it like, is it is it bad or is he like be, no. being like like sketchy? It's right. just it's just him. I just don't. I think want to be with associate with him anymore. I think he's just trying to make enemies right now. I think he's salty. I don't know why. I mean, they had a decent parting letter. Yeah, and well, and then there was like a whole interview with them too, of the actual Dance Gavin Dance band talking about it, and they were really nice about it. Mm. And I don't know, I don't know where he's coming from. Yeah, I don't, I just don't know where he's coming from. Yeah, John Mess had a lot to say in that interview. You should go watch it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't even know if his mic was on. John Mass. Yeah. He's just like he's just like moving Dude, his he, mouth and he just can't No, he didn't even move his mouth. He <laughs> literally was so on a video hard. call, like on a Zoom call, and it's like, "Hey John, uh can you just turn your turn your camera on and sit there for 45 minutes?" And that's our alarm for Oh, it's just off. It's off. I don't know why. It should be plugged in. Well, I think this might be the longest episode we've ever done. No, there was one that one. There was one that was really long. The lost episode. No, that was that was short. Yeah, but the whole short. thing was about lost, so really? it's about I lost. I talked about lost for like an hour. You did talk forty about minutes. Lost for an hour. Yeah, it was yeah, like forty. It was forty six <laughs> minutes long. Yeah, I remember. And then we did more than that. That wasn't even the whole episode, was okay, it? Well, no, that was the whole episode. All right. yeah, I don't even know if about. anyone, if you're hearing this right now. There's a chance that you have never seen that episode and yeah. never will see that episode. Yeah. There was an entire episode of Russell talking about Lost. Me 46 asking, minutes. Me asking him questions about Lost and him saying. Oh, the uh, questions. I was, the I was questions asking, only lasted a few minutes. I was asking. You him, only asked the questions for like 10, right, 15 minutes. But I asked, I asked like, like, like this or that scenario questions. And his answer was always yes. <laughs> because it was a post. Oh, you know. It was a. It was. If you want to talk to me about Lost, and that's our up. episode. Uh, Hit me up. Don't look at that camera. Look at you're looking. <laughs> yeah, at we're, this is the. No, no, get out of here. <laughs> if you want to talk about Lost with me, so everywhere. On the episode over here. No, stop <laughs> doing that. Seriously, you don't need to do that. That's if you want to talk about it. Lost, make Russ get have a Patreon. Get you can talk comments. to him on Patreon about it. Brennan Lee Mulligan, get in the comments. BLM Mulligan. A guy from Dropout TV. Okay. Have you heard of College Humor? Yes. Yeah. Uh so last episode Dropout TV formerly College Humor. All of our list of episodes. What? Episode. And subscribe. We don't want to talk about Lost on his channel anymore.